It's been a roller coaster. Uh, there's been ups and downs, you know, happiness, sadness, just small wins and small loses, or big wins or big loses. Parker was having ankle pain and we had taken him to the pediatrician. They had done MRIs on his ankle and we noticed some calf swelling so we ended up taking him to the emergency room back in the Quad Cities and there they did an ultrasound and they found a mass on it. They sent the pictures up to the University of Iowa Children's Hospital and we were told that they suspected it was a sarcoma. The same day we ended up coming up to the Children's Hospital and meeting with doctors. Within days he had surgery to place his port. They did bone marrow biopsies and they did a biopsy on the tumor itself. And we were told a few days later it was Ewing sarcoma and about a week after that he started chemo. Ewing sarcoma is an aggressive and rare type of bone cancer. It has a high reoccurrence rate which is really scary so even after treatment ends we come back for scans to see if it comes back and usually when it comes back it comes back in the lungs. Treatment options get fewer and farther between and it's harder to cure. It's kind of like you go through a grieving process. At first I was in complete denial. Parker had always been so active and healthy and to hear that there was something so serious and affecting him, I was in disbelief. And then when you come to terms with it, you get sad. You get sad about the things that he's going to have to go through and the school he's going to miss and the activities with his friends. And then you get angry. You get angry because we don't know why we don't have a cure yet and, and we want it so bad for these kids. Parker has gone through 17 rounds of chemotherapy with six different chemotherapy drugs. He also had blood transfusions, a platelet transfusion. He had multiple PET scans, MRIs, CT scans. He had EKGs. He took over 700 pills while he was going through treatment. He also had 17 shots that we gave him at home. Dr. Miller treats Parker like he's an adult. He doesn't treat him like a child. He explains everything to him in great detail and he, he makes sure that Parker understands everything. We never feel rushed with Dr. Miller. He will sit there after the last question is asked just to make sure that you don't come up with another question. He told Parker, we're going to be friends for a long time and it, they really are. And they've tried their best to make sure I'm as healthy as possible and Dr. Miller will always, you know, go the extra mile to make sure I'm okay. Parker met another patient up in the hospital named Tori. She was 14 years old. She also had Ewings and she was also from the Quad Cities. She was different. She wasn't afraid to be herself. Unfortunately, Tori passed away after a secondary diagnosis of AML and it was really hard on Parker. I've learned that you, know, you can't take friendships for granted because she was doing really well and then all of a sudden she took a turn for the worst and the next second she was gone and it's very tough. He ended up being an honorary pallbearer at her funeral. Um, he had just gotten done with surgery and he was on crutches and so to see him walk next to her casket at the cemetery on crutches it's something I'll never forget and it just shows how strong these kids are. The Children's Hospital to me means a safe haven. The doctors here are so knowledgeable, the nurses so caring. They will be an advocate for your child and they will do the best they can to care for your child. I created a Facebook page for Parker called Power for Parker and I had received a message from Perry Hesse, who is Parker Hesse's dad. And he had asked if his Parker could come up and meet my Parker. Parker Hesse brought uh, Brandon Snyder with him. When Brandon came up, he expected to leave an impression on Parker and he was amazed at how Parker had actually left an impression on him. I'm really proud at how Parker has handled all of this. Parker's taught me how to be strong. He's taught me how to laugh instead of cry. I'm proud to be his mom and throughout this, it's. It's a parent's job to teach their children lessons, but instead I found myself learning from Parker.